You want to make golf as easy as possible? Okay, welcome back to episode two of the Ultimate Swing, where today we're going to talk about completing the backswing from the takeaway position right to the top, and then we're going to talk a little bit about strike on the way down just to get you going. So buckle up, get the tee out or something stronger if you need, and enjoy this video. Okay, so we have our setup, so we'll go over that again. So we've got grip, setup drill, and we've worked into this takeaway and hopefully just been hitting from here to here all week practicing, okay? So the next stage is once we've got here, where the left hand gets to the right leg, that's where we're going to start to initiate the wrist set, okay? We're going to start to get here, and that is the next feel. Okay, so here's a drill to help you get that feel. So we're going to go takeaway like we did last time where the club stays on the hip, and in order to get that wrist hinge correct we want to feel that the left leg is being brushed by the club there as you set the wrists okay if the wrists if the club comes off then the wrists are setting them the wrong way okay so we got to get in the takeaway position rub that down your left leg and as that happens you want to start to rotate as well so it's kind of like two movements going on we've got the set and we've got the rotation you want them to come together but it's okay at the start to just go one two and then start to rotate so this is our next move basically this set and rotate okay now if you watch the club very carefully you'll see that once i get here and i start to set that club it's going to start to set behind me so it's kind of matching that 45 degree angle the club's sitting at now and it's kind of the same there 45 degrees okay so one two and if you can really get good at setting the wrists and rotating the hips at the same time and starting to open up you're going to start striking it real nice all right so let's put this into feel let's hit some shots so currently we've got here and here all right now we need a feel on the way down the most important part of this on the way down is something i want to develop early so i know we still haven't completed the backswing but we still need to get the feel for what we're doing here so you're going to get results quicker okay and you're going to start to get a feel for what this right arm needs to do as you approach the golf ball so what you need to imagine is that if you imagine like there was a nail sticking out of that ball like that at that angle okay you kind of imagine that this is your hammer but you've got to stand this way to it and you've got to hammer that nail into the ball you'll see that this is what you're going to do okay so you're going to hammer it that way with the club face you'll see that the elbow continues to point out towards you at the camera there and it's not going this way you know most of the people i see in lessons they get this release this release happens early Wrists go that way, elbow goes that way. It's no good, you're manipulating. You've got no chance to be consistent, okay? Unless you're really, really, really good at it. So it's much easier to learn this way. So we're going here, here, and then we're gonna hammer that kneel down in. And you'll see what that does to my impact position. Hands are forward, I'm gonna get a real good strike on it. There's gonna be none of this release and falling back. So your practice swings are here and finish there, nice and low. Okay, have that club pointing straight to the target. That ball's getting crushed. Okay, I'll hit one more right-handed and then I'll practice it left-handed. As we've said, it's easy enough for me to do those shots because that's the way I swing anyway. So let me show you me practicing it scratch, from scratch, left-handed style. I've lost my glove. <laughs> that's the feel there. Yeah, I mean, definitely getting the most, what I'm getting the most out of helping me hit the strike is this feeling here. Even though my left's weak, when I feel like I'm just hammering that in there, my body almost reacts and gets out of the way as I try and drive that down, okay? But I'm really only focusing from this position into there, into the ball. That's pretty good. i got a good feel for that, and you will get a good feel for it. When you do have that, just keep going with it. Keep feeling it, always checking your setup. Yeah. Yeah. All pretty good strikes, all feeling this, or if you're playing right handed, this through here. But I have to set it right in order to get that release correct. You know, if I don't set the wrists, I'll just throw them at it to try and create some speed. Set them, drive down at the nail, pretend this is the club face is a hammer. 
driving into there and finish here. Okay, so we've got a good feel for halfway back getting that set and a good feel for strike now because we still need to have that sensation of what we're doing here. It's all right to work set up. It's all right to work backswing, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's, it's not going to work. You're not going to see results and you're not going to stick with this. So that's your downswing feel. And that's going to remain the same for after we've completed this backswing. We've got to here. We've got to here. Now let's complete the backswing. From here, we need to continue with a little bit of hip rotation. And what we're going to try and do is continue our upper body rotation, but we're also going to try and get our chest to start pointing up behind us. So it's almost as if you get to here and you're looking up behind you up there. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it's up there. Okay. And that gets this chest to extend up and it gets the arms up. So it really means that once I'm here, I don't have to lift my arms or put them into position. I'm using my chest to get me into that position. So one, two, extend. Okay. And then we're going to just keep working that downward feeling. So ways you can practice this without even hitting golf balls is stick the club here. Go there, extend. You do not want to feel like you're dipping back towards the target. You do not want this, okay? So it's here and there, okay? I'm stretching, I'm getting taller in that backswing. You'll see that my right leg will actually straighten, okay? It's not fully locked, it's just a little straighter. My left leg will move towards you there. You'll see that this one's gonna move back, this one's gonna move forward. That's encouraging that hip rotation, okay? and then stretching up to the top. Now this is gonna feel weird. You're gonna feel like you're way up here and now what the heck do I do? Still imagine the kneel, still hammer the kneel. You're still going down, okay? We'll not worry too much about creating, generating power, generating speed. Let's just focus on the backswing movements and then trying to hammer that kneel, okay? Let's put it all together. Practice it, rehearse it. Okay, but we're not here to see me do it right-handed. We're here to see me do it left-handed. So here, here, up. Okay, here goes nothing. All right, lost the balance a little bit. As you can see, it's tricky. Stick with it. There we go. It's a wee bit naughty, that one. Not so good, lost balance. Just gotta feel like I'm hammering that nail. There we go, hammered it. Okay, so there's one thing I'm forgetting, and I see people forgetting things all the time. I'm forgetting to hold nice and low, stay in posture. We're not quite getting to full finish point position just yet. We just want to stay in posture, keep it low, so we can ensure the nice strike on it. That's better. Really good. I want to keep this pointing at the target. Strike isn't the best, but I'll tell you for how weird it feels, it's producing a nice, nice straight ball flight, which we will happily take. There we go. There we go. Okay guys, so what I want you to do is to start off the week practicing just the halfway back. Just practicing to the set and through to there while hammering, hammering that nail down and through, okay? So very much first half of the week just getting the feel for this, okay? And then second half of the week, work it to the top of the backswing position and feel that downward strike. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a little comment. Let us know how it's going. Let us know if you're trying it. And yeah, put that practice in and I'll see you next week for the next episode. See you.